Taking a look at question number 41, you have a couple of different options. It says to find the GCF of 30, 60, and 78. To do that, we can either make factor lists or factor trees. I prefer to make factor trees. I think they're a little bit quicker, um, so I'm going to use a tree. So I'm going to start off with 30, a factor list for 30. The first thing I'm going to say is 30 is equal to 5 times 6. Now, is that what you have to do? It's up to you. Um, you could have done 3 times 10 as well, um, or 2 times 15. You will end up with the same answer no matter what you pick. Okay. From there, I'm going to drop down because 6 is not prime and do 2 times 3. What I'm left with are prime numbers. 5 is prime, 2 is prime, and 3 is prime. So I'm done with the factor tree for 30. Now I need to make a factor tree for 60. You should notice that it's pretty similar to your factor tree um, for 30. It's going to be the same other than times 2 at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to break it up into 6 times 10. Not the only option, but it is one of the options. I'm going to break 6 down into the 2 times 3 and 10 down into 5 times 2. So notice everything's the same other than I have an extra um, I have an extra 2 which makes sense for the prime factorization because if you multiplied 2 times 3 times 5 you'd get 30 so you'd need to multiply by an extra 2 to end up with 60. Our last number we have to find the prime factorization for is 78. So it's up to you um, what you want to do to get to uh, 78. It's an even number, so maybe it's just easiest for you to divide it by 2. I know that half of 70 is 35, um, and half of 8 is 4. So I'm going to say 2 times 39 is 78. 2 is prime, so I'm done with that. A lot of people might think, ooh, I'm done with 39 as well, but it is 39 is divisible by 3. It's actually 3 times 13. Now those are both prime numbers, so we are done with that um, tree. So now we're going to write all of these prime factorizations out. We have 30, which is equal to 2 times... 3 times 5, 60, which is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, and 78, which is equal to 2 times 3 times 13. Now this time we have to look for not what two numbers have in common, but what all three have in common. So I'm looking at all three numbers for what they have in common. I see all three of them have a 2. Circle that. Um, and I see all three of them have a 3. That doesn't look very good. Thirty and sixty both also have a five, but seventy-eight does not have a five. Um, so that is it. They have a two in common and a three in common. So we are going to pull down what they have in common and multiply it together. So they both have a two, and they both have a three. So their GCF is equal to two times three, which is six, and that is going to be our GCF. So it's a little bit harder when you. Um, are dealing with three numbers. This question, you could have used factor trees or factor lists, so whatever you find easiest. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure to email me.